Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's purse sale. I hope everybody had a wonderful Father's Day weekend. We had a great time. Uh, my name is Kim, and I am a full-time reseller on purses and handbags and wallets and backpacks. So if there's anything that you find you like here, all directions are linked below this video in the inbox, in the description box. Um, you must send through PayPal. You don't need an account to pay through PayPal. Um, it's U.S. shipping only, and I ask that please you ask all questions beforehand because all of my items are non-exchangeable, non-refundable, non-refundable. Once you purchase it, it is your item. So feel free to ask all questions you have. And if you have any personal questions you'd rather not show here on the internet uh, regarding a bag or anything like that, then you can contact me over on my Instagram private message, which is also linked below. So good morning, everybody. How was everybody's Father's Day weekend? Hope you guys had a great one. We did. We had a really, really nice Father's Day weekend. And I think so all day Saturday, Randy took me out. Um, we probably hit, let's see, probably about 10 or 12 thrift stores, um, Savers. We hit Goodwill. We hit Salvation Army. And I have a little bit of everything just about. And I think today may be one of the best sales. We've got some really, really cool stuff today. So. Yeah, and then yesterday we went out to breakfast with his um, mom and dad, with Randy's mom and dad, and then and his sisters and their her husband, one, one of them has a husband, and Reed. And then after that we left and Randy and I and Reed rode our motorcycles down to the beach. If you're on my Instagram, you'll already know there's a couple pictures over there. We had a gorgeous ride down to Newport Beach, and then I took Randy from Mexican food, and it was just a really, really nice time. So, 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 it was so nice. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys bags here today. If there's anything off the top of your head that you may be looking for, I might have it this time. Um, so, you can, you know, put in the little chat box what you think you would like to see. Maybe I can pull it if I have it. But on that note, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have put my Prada re-edition my bag up for sale. It's not for sale here. So if you're interested, you can go over and take a look. There's pictures and all that good stuff. So Jenny, today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. Yay. Everybody wish Jenny a happy birthday, please. She's one of my best friends here. I just love her dearly, and I, I would love her to death. I love her to death. If she lived nearby me, we would probably be together every single day doing something fun. So, hi, Jenny. Happy birthday. Uh, any etched, you mean embossed wallets? I, I do have one. Yes, I do have one embossed wallet. So I'll go ahead and pull that one out if I can find it. Ooh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Well, I'll have to empty out the room a little bit first because I do have one in here somewhere. But you guys, I have bags all over the place. Ah, oh, Jenny, I wish I would have known it was your birthday today. Dang it. <laughs> Yay, everybody's wishing her happy birthday. Well, while you're doing that, I'll keep looking for the wallet. Keep wishing Jenny happy birthday, you guys. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start off with this wallet first. I think this is what you're talking about. This is a vintage embossed wallet. And it is the whip stitching on the sides. It's got the little snap closure. Is this what you're talking about? As far as etched wallet, it's got a coin compartment. It's This is from the 70s, so it's definitely, definitely a vintage wallet. Okay, and then you've got this side over here. Okay, Julie, so yeah, this is the one that I've got if you're interested. And it is in gorgeous. I'm trying to get it as close as I can so you can see the condition of it. It's in beautiful condition. Okay, so this will be listed in the description box below as soon as I am done doing the live. 
Okay, all right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with the baggies. Ooh, you okay, Bug? She slipped. This is a vintage Junie and Burke in beautiful condition. It's a tote with the uh, brown leather trim, hobo style. Fits like this. This is the all weather leather in a tote pebble and a Vaqueta brown um, trim. Okay, so here's the bottom. It's got the feet. Come here, baby. You want to come up here? Come on. See mama. Come on. Pixie's down here looking at me like, come on, mom. It's got an adjustable strap. It's not a crossbody. It's definitely a shoulder bag, but you can let it out longer, as you guys can see. And then it's got the zip top closure. And the inside is beautiful. Show you. I think this is might be a double pocket right here. No, it's one single zipper pocket. And it is in excellent vintage condition. Yes, this, this is taupe. And it's a pebble, pebbled leather. I mean, look at the edges. For its age, it's beautiful. Gorgeous bag. Hi, Bev. Good morning. Is it morning time still? Yes, it is. For a few more minutes here, anyways. Okay, so that is the first bag. Um, I'm going to show this Betsy Johnson that I hauled a couple days ago. And I actually washed it, and it's in excellent condition now. It's got the little cheetah front that says, "Love I love couture on it. And it is a tote style. And it's in the nylon material, leather trim, black, gold hardware. Then the chain is actually the zipper. The interior is hot pink with leather lined pockets. And this is a vintage Juicy Couture. And then there's also the zipper side pockets. One and two over here. Oh yeah, they are, they are. The, the vintage ones I really love. I really love. They're just, I don't know. There's just something special about anything vintage to me. Like me. I'm vintage. That makes me special. <laughs> yeah, I'm special, all right. <laughs> I know somebody's going, yeah, Kim. You're special. You're special, all right. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, so that is the Juicy Couture. And it is very, very lightweight, in case anybody's wondering. I think most of us here are vintage. I think this is a pretty vintage channel, <laughs> which I love. All right, let's show you this one. I found another hand-painted bag, and this is a gorgeous tote. Look at this. It's beautiful, genuine leather. Oh, good, Maria. I hope you love it. It's very cute, right? Okay. Here's what this one looks like on. A super soft leather. And guys, I just want to tell you on these, if you're interested in it, snap it up because these ones, I kind of get a fight over. These ones go very, very quick. I usually only have them in like the smaller size, like wallet on a string. Um, they're very rare, very hard to find. It is vintage as well, but it's in amazing condition. So it has your pocket, slip pocket, slip pocket, a magnetic snap pocket, very large. Then it has all of the organizational pockets. So this big zipper pocket. And in case, I think I said it's genuine leather. So it has this zipper. And it has a center snap compartment. 
And then the center snap compartment has lots and lots of pockets. Those are leather pin pockets. This is a leather slip pocket, zipper. And then this wall has this gigantic pocket. And then you have another zipper pocket right here. Isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty. Let's unzip them all and kind of show you like this what it looks like. Okay, so this is hand painted leather tote. All right, let's see which beauty do I want to show you now. Let's do a little crossbody for my crossbody gals. This is in brand new condition. It is a Coach Optic crossbody in like a denim blue. Lots of different blues on this one. It's got the very comfortable shoulder strap leather piece here. So it keeps it really comfortable on. Um, you have a front slip pocket, a back slip pocket, and then the zipper pocket is got the Creed right here. Silver hardware. And it's in brand new condition. Still has the little hang tag. And the strap is adjustable. I'll show you this on. Okay, you just slip your phone or whatever you like in here. Very comfortable. It's got because I love the leather piece right here. It's really nice. Okay, so this is my blue coach crossbody. Do I have any questions so far? Let's see. Huh, Abby, you're the youngest at 28. My daughter's 28. Most women my age don't love purses. That's true. Abby, that is very true. I have found also that your generation could care less mostly about handbags and, and younger and the younger ones down. So I don't know if it's just us older folks that are addicted to bags or what, but to find you at your age is rarity that, that you love bags. But I love it so much. My daughter is 28 and she could give a hoot about purses. I mean, she'd probably prefer not to even carry one. She's used the same one for probably literally three years now, the exact same one. But it's so fun finding you youngins, if it's okay if I call you that, you you young ladies that love, love handbags. Do you do local? Where do you live? Well, um, I'm in Southern California. And I'm not exactly sure what you mean, do I do local? Okay, so the next bag is this. This one is, okay, of all the B. Mikowskis I've thrifted, this is my favorite one so far. Couch pink-like, mauve-colored one looks really pretty. Yes, it is. I've shown it several times. There's that one that's like a pink mauve, and then there's the juicy. I've shown it. It's cool. They're really, really pretty. Okay, so this one is probably my favorite B. Mikowski so far. Look at it. It's so feminine. It's like, it's, it's all black leather, yet it's still so feminine. Feminine. It's got like a little ruffled two front pockets. I love the gigantic O-rings in silver. It even has slip pockets on the side. Isn't this one so cute? And then the straps are leather braided. This bag is all leather. Let's show you it on. It's got a really nice strap drop length on it. Feet on the bottom. It's got the phone compartment on the back. Little slip pocket. And then it's got the zipper top. I'm just looking at comments, seeing if I'm missing anything. Don't want to miss. Don't want to miss too much. And the inside on this one is actually not leopard, you guys. It is kind of like. Well, let me just show you. Lots of pockets, indeed. But this is what the inside looks like. It's like a almost like a snake print pattern, I'd say, with B. Mikowski written all in it. Lots of pockets, because he always has lots of pockets in his bags. And it's just a medium, nice medium-sized bag. 
Okay, so this is my Bean Mikowski, and it's even got some little stitching on the sides right there. I don't know, I just think it's a really feminine yet sturdy, you know, black leather bag. Really pretty. Okay, let's do this one. Do I have any mint green letters, like just plain mint green? If you do, if I do, give me a thumbs up. I need a sip of coffee. Where did I put it? Oh, I'm going to grab my coffee real quick. Let me know if you love mint green here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Maddie. Okay. Let's see, what am I doing? Am I getting any? Okay, I've got a few mint green lovers. Give me a thumbs up on that little icon down below too. Okay, let's put this aside. So this is a brand new, 100% authentic, genuine leather, vintage, if that makes sense. It's a vintage bag in 100% excellent brand new condition. I was super, super excited to find this. I'm a silent viewer of your hauls. This is the first time I joined your live sale. I'm not from USA, but I watch your videos whenever I miss thrifting in Temecula. Well, thank you so much, Tamami, uh, Tomomi, Nikki. Welcome, welcome. This is the most prettiest mint green with white. No, doesn't have white. It's actually mint green stitching, and it's a nickel hardware, and this is by Hype. And Hype makes the most gorgeous leather bags, or did. I'm not sure if they still do, but look at this beautiful purse. The buckle detail on the front. They just have so much detail on their bags. All the studding around the sides, the rolled leather handles, the bottom. This must have been sitting in someone's closet or something forever. I didn't even have to reshape it if everything is perfect. So whoever had it that didn't use it kept really, really great care of it. So these are two pockets on the front. Magnetic snap closures. And this is what it looks like. You can either wear it on the crook of your arm or you can wear it tote style. I love it. The squeak of the leather. Don't you guys? Oh, I love that. Okay, showed you the bottom. And then it's got this little mag... Is that magnetic? No, this is not magnetic. So it's a little snap. You unsnap it. And then there's a zipper top closure. This reminds me a lot of the Chloe bags. Nice leather zipper pull. And then the interiors are always so cool. Ooh, you guys should see my room. You should see my room. Look at the interior. It's ice cream. It's a mint and chip ice cream look. <laughs> I mean, not literally like ice cream cones or anything, but if you guys can see, it just looks like a bunch of swirled mint and chip ice cream on the inside that just can make you so happy and feel cool when you open your bag in this 120 degree heat. <laughs> um, so it says hype right here. And then the pockets are a zipper a leather lined slip pocket and then this side you have another slip pocket okay so this is my beauty by hype oh and also it has in um silver foil hype right here can you guys see that okay it says hype right there Alrighty, let's put that over here. Uh, let's do this set that I have, a Kate Spade set. This is only going to be sold together, but it's a little Kate Spade hobo in a taupe pebbled leather. Looks like this on for you, like a smaller bad girl who likes a really, really adorable hobo. <clears throat> Rolled leather top handle, very smushy. It has the zipper pocket. The back is plain. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, and then the top is a zipper top closure. And then the inside looks like this. Zipper pocket and two open pockets and the matching long zip around wallet in the taupe pebble as well. So this will be coming together as a set. It has an open pocket on the back. And here is <clears throat> the interior. Okay. So this is my Kate Spade taupe leather set. Yeah, the color meets you. Love it. So let's just go ahead and put this back in here and whoever wants it will be getting the entire set for one price. All right, I have this. Now this I thought was a Lucky Brand, but um, there's actually no tag on it, which is a shocker because whoever made this needs to have a tag on it because it's gorgeous, gorgeous leather. Look at this large brown hobo. It has little silver micro studs on the handles. Just look at this leather, you guys. It's super slouchy and it's still really lightweight. Grab and go, super comfortable. And then it has a diagonal zipper top closure. Very large. And the inside looks amazing with uh, tons of pockets on the inside. And it's like a denim, it's like a silvery denim material. It's really pretty. So this is a leather slip pocket. And then you've got some pin holders over here. Or lipstick. You can actually even put a lipstick in there. And then um, let's see what else. Over here is a card holder, credit card holder on a zipper pocket. Isn't it awesome? I love this. Very, very clean. Here. There we go. Okay. And then you just zip it and you're good to go. Isn't that so pretty, you guys? And it's a smooth, almost a completely smooth chocolate brown. So this is going to be my chocolate brown studded leather hobo. Because there's not a name on it. All right. Um, oh, if you guys love Hermes, this is not an Hermes. Don't get excited. Anyways, I don't think anybody wants to pay $8,000 for a bag right now. Um, Tia Neo is an amazing leather brand, and I never knew that they made this bag. That's just from something sitting on it. Don't worry, it'll come out. But it does have a snake-type leather right here on the front. This is a very, like a soft pebbled leather, and it looks very Birkin-esque. Black with silver hardware. It's a large tote. Okay, this is in brand new condition. And don't worry, this will come out. It's just, it needs, like you can stuff the pocket or whatever, probably because one of my bags were laying on it, a stud or something. So you've got the back pocket, and it's a large back pocket, rolled complete leather handles. It's got a little Tianio hang tag, zipper top closure. These are two additional pockets, brand new condition. Hi, Nelly. Yes, I can see your comments. Did you say something that I missed, honey? I definitely can. Let me see. Cynthia, 
Uh, if you said something, oh, oh, there you are. You said hi earlier. Hello. I'm sorry I missed your comment. I was too engrossed in my bags. But yes, ma'am, I can see them. Okay, so it's got the two pockets here. And then a nice zipper compartment. With tons of additional pockets. It says TNEO right here. I so lied to you guys. It is not Tia Neo. It's way better. <laughs> way better. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. That's why I never saw Tia Neo before. You guys, look what it's by. It's Terrazzo, Italy. Why did I think it was Tia Neo? I do not know. I didn't even realize that. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, this is by Terrazzo, Italy. Let's change that. Why did I think this was Tia Neo? I don't know. My apologies. Uh, somebody's getting a score right here. If this, if you're interested in this bag. Okay, so Terrazzo, Italy. Wow. Oh wow. Okay, that's why it looks like it does. Got it. Got it. All right. Score. Ah, yes, I'm so excited about this. And this is genuine snakeskin right here. That's genuine snakeskin. Bam. Okay, there you go on that one. Try this one on. Did I not try this on? I thought I did. Here it is. The bottom has feet. Here it is, front view. Kind of on the crook of my arm. And there you have it. You are very welcome, my friend. Okay, I have a Michael Kors crossbody with uh, brown with white trim. Not really white, it's kind of more like a bonish color for my crossbody gals. And this is in wonderful, like new condition. Um, I would say it's definitely not medium, but it's definitely not extra, like really large either. Um, I'm trying to think of a bag you purchased from me. I would say like Marc Jacobs Stam, a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger than a Stam, I'm thinking. A Stam would be shorter, but I think maybe from here to here, it's kind of Stam uh, this way, if that makes sense. Yeah, bigger than, it's bigger than a Stam. Sorry, I wish I could explain it better. If you want me to get the measuring tape out, I can do that too. Okay, so here's the crossbody. This is a pocket. This is a zipper pocket. And this is a nice medium sized crossbody. Okay, and then the snap top closure, my receipt. I don't need to see that. The inside has a zipper pocket and a slip pocket, and it's extremely clean. Okay, and the strap is adjustable. You can wear it on your shoulder, or you can wear it crossbody if you like. Whatever floats thine boat. Okay, so this is my Marc Jacobs crossbody. Yeah, it is. It does look like brand new. If it's been used, maybe I'd say once or twice. It's it's in really, really great condition. All right, here's another find that is extremely hard to find. I was so excited to find this because I have a lot of Kipling gals out there. I found a white with gray handle Kipling. Isn't it so cute, a little handbag? And it's in excellent condition. This is a slip pocket on the front. And if this gets dirty, toss it, toss it in the wash with your whites. You don't even have to worry about it. It just comes super clean. Um, I wash all my Kiplings in my washing machine. So it's got the little Kipling quill, nice chunky zipper. 
and tons of pockets on the inside and literally weighs ounces. Pen slots right on the bottom over there. Uh, slip pockets, a little tiny like pinstripe lining. So lots of inside pockets and it's featherweight. Featherweight. It's also got the key lanyard for you. Okay. So that's my white Kipling. Then I have a gorgeous Coach Black Leather Pebbled, pebbled Leather Tote. This is large as well. It's got a light gold tone hardware. Front zipper pocket. And then it's got the regular top zip. Nice and slouchy. It's got one, two slip pockets and then your zipper pocket. Okay, here's the bottom. And it's like a, almost a smooth leather. It's a very, it's slouchy, soft, and the leather's like a very soft pebble. Close, you, okay. And so this is my Coach Leather Tote. Okay, let's do, any questions so far? Any questions, any questions, any questions you guys? Oh, the hike purse, the mint green one that you saw, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you, it comes with the dust bag as well. So let's go ahead and put this in the dust bag so I make darn sure you get it if you purchase this bag. So you will definitely get the dust bag to store your purse when not in use. <clears throat> okay, it says hype on it as well. Alrighty. Um, okay, so now we're going to do this born, adorable born hobo style bag in a Cognac brown leather. Love this purse. Let's go ahead and try this one on for you. So this is a medium to a large hobo adjustable strap. The front has little braided detail. There's the born emblem. Then the back is plain. It's got the little born hang tag. With brass hardware. Zip top closure. The born lining with a zipper pocket and zip pockets. Grab that, there we go. Okay, super soft, lightweight, adorable hobo boho. Hobo boho, you guys. And then, let's see, we're gonna do this crossbody. This can be guy or girl. New, gender neutral crossbody bag in a really lush, like a reddish brown leather. Um, can't remember the name. Somebody, I sold one of these before and somebody knew the name and I Googled it. If you know the name again, can you please let me know? Because these are like $300 when I Googled it. Um, it's the one that's got the, let me show you. 
<clears throat> buckle closures and I got to show you the interior because that's the only way I knew this was the bag of the same name brand. Somebody told me what it was. The only reason I knew is because it's got like this green canvas, like an olive green canvas lining with padded pockets. And I was shocked when I saw the, um, the price of this bag. So there's lots and lots of pockets in it. That's a padded pocket. Then there's your center compartment. That's a padded pocket. This is a zipper pocket right here. Now, not only does the zipper pocket go down the entire length of the bag, but when you unzip it, you can also put stuff in the flap here, like maybe documents, papers, things like that. But when you zip it up, it closes this pocket and the flap pocket. Okay, so, oops, there's a string in there. All right. Zipper up here. And then it's got buckle closures. And the leather is beautiful on this. And it's got a long crossbody strap with adjustments. This is all leather. The entire bag is leather except for the interior pockets which is a really like a sturdy kind of canvas material in like an olive green. So whoever told me the price of this, please, or the name of this, please tell me again, because I, I got to write it down. I can't remember. And my friends, that is today's handbag sale. Like I said, if you'd like to see this product over on my Instagram. And yeah, I think we have some really great bags today. We did so much thrifting over the weekend, and I'm so excited to bring these bags to you. So, are there any questions before we go? Because I'd love to answer them now while I can. Thank you, Sunny and Jenny. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for joining, Sharon. Can I try on the last no name bag? Sure thing. Yes, I can. I'm getting the strap all straight here. Ooh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Let's see. So here's the width of the strap, and it's a crossbody, so it kind of hangs low, but you can also make it shorter or longer. So if you're short, that'll work. It's hard to get hard to see. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know it's probably not looking exactly like you'd like to see it, but it, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Okay, it looks like that may be all of the questions. Am I right? Okay, then. Go for the Italy bag, Jen. Are you still loving your by far purse? I absolutely do. I surely am. That crossbody gender neutral looks like the bridge. Okay, then I'm, let me see. Let me Google that. I can't remember the name, and it was, I was shocked on one that I sold. The bridge, is that what it's called? It doesn't sound familiar, but it might be, so let's see. Images. Can you donate money, money, so Jenny can get the bag she wants as a birthday gift? Hey, that's all between you guys. That's all between you guys. Um, 
I don't think it's the bridge because the bridge bags have like emblems and logos. Let me show you. No, I, uh, all those have actually been on previous videos. Those are bags that have not sold yet. This is, yeah, all, yeah, actually all of them. All of them have been on previous videos. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, they already show, they have like emblems on them. So that's not the bag, but thank you so much for trying to help me out. Okay, you guys, I don't see any more questions coming through. So did I already mention about, yeah, I just answered that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see you on tomorrow's video, you guys. I'm not going to say stay humble and kind. I'm going to say stay humble and speak your peace. <laughs> That's my new stay humble and stay truthful. Stay humble, you guys, and stay truthful because sometimes when you're truthful, it's not so kind, but sometimes things have to be said, right, you guys? Love you so much. Stay humble, stay truthful, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.